Hey you guys, welcome back. So our favorite downloading application for our Amazon devices or Android TV devices has just received an update today. And when I say today, I really do mean today as in July the 19th. Now this update has a really handy feature, which is the ability to search Google directly from the URL field. Now what this means is you don't need to open up Google and search for something. You can do all of that directly from the home screen. On top of that, the search results you get when you do search from the home screen of Downloader are actually tweaked and tailored so they appear better on a TV screen, especially when you are using your remote control to navigate around these web pages. So in this video today, let me show you how you can update to the latest version of Downloader on your Amazon devices or Android TV. On top of that, I'll show you some real life examples and how you can use this new search feature. And lastly, on an Android TV device, I'll show you how you can install the browser feature just to make sure you don't get any errors when you do try and browse. So do take a moment to hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so here we are on my second generation Fire TV Cube. And on this device, and because I have this option enabled, Downloader was already updated to the latest version when I tried it today. Now, if you don't have this option enabled, if I press the home key, if you just search for the application, Downloader. Now, when you start it from here, you may see a prompt asking you that there's a newer version available. Do you want to update it before launching it? So that's the second way you can get the latest version of this application. If you don't see that option, let's press the home key. Let me jump over to my 4K Fire Stick. Now here we can see on my 4K Fire Stick, when I open up this application, I don't see any prompt telling me that there's a newer version available. If I close out of this, let's search for that again. Downloader. Again, if I open it, so I'm not sure why it's not auto prompting me that there's a newer version available, but if you have this issue, the last thing you can do to get the latest version is to actually uninstall this and then reinstall the new one. So let's do that now. Let's press the home key. Let's go over to my settings, applications. Let's go to manage and install applications. Let's find downloader and let's click on uninstall. That's now all gone. Let's search for that again, downloader. Here it is, let's open that up. Let's click on download. Let's click on open. And do we get the latest version? Let's click on allow. And we can see we have the latest version because we can see we now have the ability to search for something directly on the home screen of Downloader. So let's actually put this to a, a real life example. So let's go up here. Now in my previous videos regarding custom launchers, one of the things we used to do in the process was to use Google to search for custom wallpapers. But now we can see with this new feature, I don't need to go to Google. I can now just go straight to the search field and just type in, for example, uh, 1080p uh, wallpaper. Let's click on go. And that should now automatically make a connection to Google. It then pulls down the results and then formats those results just so they appear easier to use on a TV screen. And we can see each of the search results actually has a picture next to it just to make it easy for you to click on when you are using the remote control to navigate. So for example, if I want to go to this site over here, I can click on, I can click on the link or I can click on the thumbnail. Let's click on that. That takes me straight to the website. Now I can now browse a massive collection of wallpapers and then download anything I want and then use in my custom launcher. Lots of great content in here. Let's press the home key. So that's basically how you get the latest version of Downloader, either via automatic update or by uninstalling and then reinstalling it again. So that's for the Amazon devices. Let's now jump over to my Nvidia Shield. Now, let me just take this opportunity to say a massive thanks to all of the new members of my channel. Your support really does mean a lot. And if any of you guys want to sign up, I'm doing a special promotion for the first 100 members, whereby all of you can join my private chat group. And in this chat group, we can talk about stuff, we can provide support to each other, and we can even share our APKs. So some of those applications, some of those toolboxes I'm working on, you guys can get early access to them. So if that sounds of interest to you, do have a look out for the join button. Thank you. Okay, so on your official Android TV devices like the NVIDIA Shield or the Xiaomi Mi Box S or your TV Stream 4K, just open up the Google Play Store, find the application in there, 
and we can see you'll get the prompt asking you that there is an update for this application. So let's update that now. Now we'll get the update directly from the Google Play Store and we can now click on open. And here we just get the prompt again, just telling you that you can now do your Google searches directly from the home screen. Let's click on OK. Now on these devices, if you go to the browser, we can see you get this error by default and this is the same on any Android TV device. So if you have an Android TV, like maybe from Philips or from Samsung, if you have the Mi Box or any of these devices running the official Android TV operating system have this particular issue. Now to fix this issue, if you go over to home and in the address bar, just type in browser dot AFTV news and many thanks to Elias for this amazing application dot com. Let's click on go. And that should actually make a connection to that address and download the plugin for you. And we can see it's done exactly that. Let's click on install. Click on done. Click on done again. And now we can see when I go to the browser option, I can now actually use the browser on my official Android TV device. And let's just test that search feature again. And let's just do a 4K wallpaper this time, just to mix it up a bit. Click on go. And just like that, we're now searching for 4K wallpapers through Google and then formatting those results just so they appear nicer on the TV screen. Now let's just click on the first one over here. Scroll down and I can now click on, uh, let's go for this one over here. Click on that. And just like that, we've now got that image. I can now click on done. I can now go to my custom launcher. I can press and hold over here. Go to launcher settings, go to wallpaper, go to select wallpaper, go to the downloader folder, find the new image, there it is. Click on that, give that five seconds, four, three, two, and there we have it guys. So that's all for this video guys. Many thanks for watching. This update only came out today. So I do hope you like it. Do let me know and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.